Hi guys, in this video I will show you how you can use Python and Selenium to fill forms, log into website and scrape data. So I will be logging into Instagram and scraping the data of post, followers and following count of different users. So let's get started. So the requirements for this project is that you need to have a Chrome driver according to the Chrome version present in your computer. You can check your Chrome version in settings and in about Chrome section. So my version is 106. You can Google search on how to download Chrome driver for the Chrome version present in your computer. And the Python requirements that you need to have python.env module installed and selenium installed. So I will install these using pip install hyphen r requirements.txt in my case these are already installed but in your case it will get installed and lastly you need to create an environment file in which you will store username and password this will be used at the time of logging in so let's get started with the code so i will begin by reading the environment file I will call the function load.env. I also need to import OS. Now I will read username. And similarly I will read password. Let's check this by printing M. I will run the code. And you can see that the username and password is printed on the terminal. Now I will remove this print statement. And in the environment file, I will enter my original password. I will do this behind the scenes. Of course, I don't want you guys to know my password. So I have entered my original password in the environment file. I will close this environment file. And now I will collapse this section. Now I will import WebDriver from Selenium. Now I will create the driver object. Using webdriver.chrome. In this I need to give the executable path. And this will be the path of our chrome driver. Which is this. So I need to give the full path. For that I will print the current working directory. So this is the current working directory. I will copy this. Enter it here. And also add Chrome driver. So we are done with this. Now I will run a function. Driver dot maximize window. This will open the Chrome in full size. Now I will create a variable that will store the Instagram URL. Now I want to open the Instagram website. I will do that using driver.get. And pass in the URL. Which is insta URL. So I am done with this part. I will run the code. You can see that we are redirected to the Instagram website and we are currently on the login page. So the next step is to write a login procedure. Now let's move to that.
now I need to do a few imports I've imported webdriver weight from selenium.webdriver.support.ui and expected conditions as EC from selenium.webdriver.support and buy from webdriver.common.buy Now let's move to the Instagram login page So now we need some ways to identify this field and locate them to insert the username and password for login in. I will open the developer tools using F12 and click on the username field. You can see that it is of type input and the attribute name has the value of username. So we can identify this username field from this attribute name. I will show you how you can do that in the code. First of all, I will add a sleep of one second. You need to import sleep from time. Generally, you need to add sleep between different steps because the code can get executed in millisecond and the website can identify that a bot is trying to enter its ecosystem. So I will create a variable named username field. I will use webdriver weight and pass in driver and a wait of 10 seconds and use until method and use expected condition and that condition will be presence of element located. and pass in a tuple. The first element will be the by on which attribute we need to locate the element. And that attribute is name. And next we need to pass the value of that attribute that is username. So this webdriver wait will wait for 10 seconds until the presence of element is located and we need to locate it by name and the value of name will be username next I need to pass in the username in this username field I will use send keys method and pass in the username that we read from the environment file after that I will add a sleep of one second and the same procedure will be done for the password field. Let me show you the password field. It is also of type input and the name attribute has the value of password. We can copy this. Here I will change this to password and that will be password field. and I need to pass the password now I will sleep for one second next I need to click on this login button I will highlight that so this is of type button and you can see that it do not have the attribute of name but we can still locate it using the xpath I will show you how but first of all I will create the login button here I will copy this and paste it here and by name I will change that to xpath and now here I need to pass the xpath to get the xpath I will right click here and in the copy I will copy the xpath and paste it here
after that I need to click on the login button I will use the click method and this will click on the login method so I'm done with the login procedure now let's check this by running the code the username password has been filled and we have clicked on the login button and you can see that I'm able to login into my account so we are done with this step next I want to scrape some data I will show you which data I'm talking about Let's search a profile. I will search for Cristiano Ronaldo. Here you can see that the URL is Instagram URL plus the user handle that is Cristiano. And what I want to scrape is that I want to scrape the post count, the followers count and the following count. I will open the developer options and try to locate them. You can see that they are present in an unordered list and further the post followers and following count is present in list items. Here you can see the post count. Now let's write the procedure to locate these HTML elements. First of all, I, first of all after logging in I will sleep for 15 seconds to ensure that the page is loaded properly after that I want to redirect to the CR7 Instagram page for that I need to use driver.get method and pass in the URL that is the insta URL plus Cristiano I will sleep for 5 seconds to ensure the page is loaded. After that I will create a variable for the unordered list. I will copy the code from here. And this time I will search the element using the tag name. That is ul unordered list. So this will store the unordered list. Next I want to iterate into the list items of this unordered list. I will create a variable items and on ul I will use a method find elements by tag name. And I will pass the tag name that is li list item and then I will run a for loop for list item in items I want to print list item dot text so this will print the plain text present in the HTML element I will close this now let's run the code
so the Cristiano page has been loaded and you can see that I've printed the post followers and following count so with this the tutorial is completed I hope you liked it please like share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next tutorial